Three, two, one. Hi, everybody. Mr. Higgins, and welcome to Project 2 Photoshop 101. This has been a high demand project to keep on practicing our skills of comping or composing. That means putting together separate images. So when you talk about Photoshop, usually this is kind of like subtle manipulation to photos. A pretty famous thing on the internet is Photoshop fails. The arm is too long because they moved it to make room for this title. In this photo, a mysterious Photoshop fail as her one foot is going the opposite direction of the other foot. <laughs> um, I think these are a little more difficult when you're trying to make something look completely realistic. I like to have fun and make things look terribly not realistic. So for this project, what you are going to do, you're going to be making two different celebrity or animal, or you're going to take two photos and you're going to be adding a lot of characteristics to them. This is pretty much going to be the same as the YouTube banner in a lot of ways, because you're going to get a bunch of PNGs. You're going to add them in using layer, open images layer, but now we're going to focus on kind of blending them and layering them. So as we go here, I can turn these off real quick. I can click that little check mark there to get rid of all these layers. <laughs> it's kind of nightmare fuel, right? Um, so just doing the, the eye and the hair real quick. So I just searched for eyeball and I kind of blended that in. Um, I also, one thing you can do to, while you're building your artwork here is you can go up to adjustment, hue and saturation. And if you have that layer selected, you can move that. So say if I wanted to go kind of green hair. Now if I wanted to match that uh, eyeball, so the, the eye's a little pink, if I do the same thing, I click on that layer, go to adjustment, hue and saturation, and I could change that eyeball to kind of match the hair color. As I toggle on a couple layers here, this eye patch, right? What we want to also think about is our layer order. So this is the eye patch here, but if I brought it in and it was above, you'll see that wraps for the eye patch are above the hairline. We don't want that. We don't need to erase those down. What we can do is move that underneath the wig and it automatically covers it up. These are two different just like weird hair extensions I added for fun. And then finally, and the weirdest one is just putting this uh, lady's nose on him. And I'll just go over a few of these processes right now. So I'll turn these off just to make it easier to look at the final one. Um, also remember this button down here, if you wanted to, to at, make it kind of half transparent, you can use that. That's what opacity also means, uh, transparency or invisibility. Okay, so I'm going to go through the process. So first you start with your image. You've searched out a bunch of images. Say if I wanted to add a mom tattoo, I go to you know, mom tattoo, heart tattoo, or look for nose, or anything I want. I click tools, I click transparent, just like the last project. Once you see that white and gray, right click, save image as, go to layer, open image as layer, and I'll use this. So I'm getting this giant face, and if I wanted to add this nose to my Obama photo, I'll do a edit, free transform, same as before. Just of note, if you hold down the shift button while you move, it keeps it the same proportions. So sometimes if you, so I would try to adjust this to about where it would want to be. I'll say apply. And here's what we're going to do. The eraser tool here, we're going to click on that and we're going to go up to the brush settings. Because to do good photoshopping, you need to try to make it as subtle as possible. So if I click up here, I can get a larger brush. Notice I can change the size of the brush here. I can make it huge if I wanted to. And then there's this called hardness. And that's if it's a hard line, that's like a marker, like a Sharpie, 100%. But if it's soft, it's like an airbrush. So I'm going to try to make this about 200 with a zero softness. And you'll see, it. so if I come in here, and so notice the edge is not a hard edge, so if I wanted to try to blend it, it'll be easier. So I'll just go around and try to get rid of all those hard edges to start. Um, what you can also, this looks pretty ridiculous. Now here, opacity, like I said, that also means transparency. If you take that down, it makes the brush less stronger. The reason why that's good when you're Photoshopping is because that, that will make it easier to blend. So now instead of erasing 100%, erasing it erases one tenth of that. So if I take that down to just like a four, now it'll be, it'll be a more subtle erasing brush. Okay. So I'm gonna try to brush in around his eyes a little bit. I can also change the colors on all these, brightness, contrast, move this up or down, um, whatever you want. 
So if I wanted to make that kind of goofy like that, I could leave it. That's the process, so I could turn that off. All right, I wanna also show you another technique real quick. So I'm going to layer, open image as layer. I'm gonna grab this mom tattoo. So if I wanted to add a, add a fake tattoo to this image, what I'd want to do is I'm going to move it where I want. So I'll do my edit, free transform. What I want to do now, instead of just doing normal mode, so if I click my layer settings on this tattoo, I can change the layer mode. What this is most useful for, if we wanted to add a, a tattoo or something, if we click, instead of normal, we'll click darken. That will only show what's darker than what's under it, which makes it really easy to add something that's dark to or add something that is primarily uh, black lines to anything above it. So that way it looks like it kind of blends in. It automatically gets rid of that white. Um, so what I'd want to do now is try to find a place to put it. And I want to show you one other thing that can be pretty useful when you're Photoshopping. If you go to edit, under, under free transform is free distort. Now this, instead of making it even, it kind of lets you peel the image or push it and maybe I just wanted to try to create the illusion that it was being pushed up because it was smiling. Uh, maybe that works. It also, once it's finished, sometimes if you want to make something a little more subtle, you can take that opacity down. Uh, you can play with all these tools. But basically, what we're focused on now is you're going to focus on using your layers. You're going to focus on adding at least five or six different new elements to your Photoshop. Focus on using the erase tool to try to blend things as much as possible. You're gonna focus on using the adjustment for color and contrast to make some interesting things. And yeah, basically this doesn't need to be a celebrity or a portrait, it could be an animal. You could add different pieces of animals together. Uh, yeah, just I want you guys to experiment and to be finished with assignment number two, just like the last project, we'll be making two of these. So your first one, experiment. Your second one, be a little more thoughtful with the color, what you're building. So the first one, you can just kind of toss a bunch of random stuff in there and experiment away. For your second one, try to be intentional. Maybe talk to some friends, see if they have any suggestions for what you want to do. Then when you are finished with both, remember you want to do file, save, save as a PXD and you can call it the name of whatever you're making and I'll do uh, photoshopping PXD1 I'm gonna save it as a PXD and I'm going to go into computer science studio level one computer science and I'm gonna make a folder click on new folder and do new folder 2 Photoshop 101 and you could put manipulation if you want and when you're gonna save that as a PXD so that's part one but we're going to save twice because once we save it as a PXD, we want to save again and we want to save as a PNG. So that's going to be saving a project file so you can come back and change your layers anytime you want, uh, add more to it, take away from it. But we also want to save a PNG to turn in an image. So when I click OK, I'm going to save that PNG and we will be good to go. All right. I'm excited to see what you make and have a great time. Bye.